In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy groups of reports using apps in Power BI service. We're going to go through together how to create and publish your own apps, which will ultimately make life easier for both you and your users. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So apps are the official way to package and distribute your reports to your users in Power BI service. You can think of apps as a way to sort of bundle up different reporting elements like, let's say reports, dashboards or goals so that your users have a one-stop shop when it comes to accessing multiple reports that they might need access to. And don't get confused with workspaces and apps. They are not interchangeable one or the other. It's more like the apps is the next official way to distribute your reports as opposed to giving your users access to the workspace itself. So the ideal typical workflow is that you create your reports in Power BI Desktop which you publish into the Power BI service to your workspaces. The workspaces is intended to be collaborative for you and other developers to make changes to the reports, have a look and make sure that the data is okay. And once everything is checked and you're happy with it, you can then publish it from your workspace into an app where your clients and users will have access to the reports as a published entity by itself. You can create apps from the Power BI service. However, like many things in the Power BI service, both creating and distributing apps require a minimum of pro license, both for you and your recipients or your users. So if you're thinking of using apps in the future, just make sure that you keep this in mind when you're deploying it. Another thing to note is that you can only create an app in a workspace. So by default, if you look at your workspaces, you have your My Workspace as default. But if you want to deploy or publish an app, you need to publish it from a workspace. And to create one is pretty simple. You just go to your workspaces and create a workspace. We've already got one here set up, Demos, which just has some reports that we're going to use to show you how the apps work. So this is an example workspace that you can create in Power BI service. And this one specifically I create to just dump some of the demos that I've been creating in the past couple of years, let's say. And in here we have a few reports that we want to maybe publish into an app. So the thing with this workspace is that not all of the reports in it are ready for user consumption. I only want to distribute some of them, but not all of them. And I wanted to find a better way to distribute it than just giving people access to the workspace. And creating an app is a great use case for situations like this, because it makes it simpler to deploy a production version of your apps, of your reports, separate from your workspace. So to create an app is really simple. So if you have your workspace open, you will have this button create app option on the top right. When you click that, it will ask you for some setup information. So it will ask you what is the name of your app? What is the description? So we're just gonna say uh, this is a, this contains production reports just as a sample description of how a description would look like. You can add more information here like support sites, which is going to be a link that will be available in your app. You can even add things like an app logo or show contact information of who to go to for any issues in the app. You can deal with the navigation builder, which is the ability for your users to navigate through the different reports and elements that you have included in your app. So you see here we have three different reports that we can rearrange in this navigation, which is what your users will see when they access the app itself. So this is where you would curate the experience of your users across different reports that you have in this app. So maybe you want to have them go through the headcount analytics first, 
So we we'll just move it up there. Maybe we want to name it something else. Maybe we just need to name it headcount. You can hide or unhide some things in the navigation. So if you have internal navigations in your reports, you can hide them in the navigation pane here. You can even create sections. If you click create a section, this will allow you to group different reports or elements together. So we're gonna create one. So I'm just gonna name it summary. And what we're going to do, we're gonna go to headcount and we're gonna just put this in the summary, for example. So that will put this report, I will just put another one as well, to that section, allowing you to kind of group reports together, just a way to kind of organize them. You can also add an external link. So if you want any supporting materials or anything else that you might be using in the report that you want your users to have access to, you can create it as a separate element in the navigation. You can create it as a separate element in your navigation bar, which is handy if you have things like sources or help pages you might want to link outside of your Power BI app. You can also customize the permissions for this app itself. So you can choose who has access to this app. Maybe you want your whole entire organization to see this app once it's published, or you just want specific individuals, in which case you will just put all of their email addresses here in this list, the same way that you would share reports or workspaces, for example. And you can even control how this is being accessed by the people you give access to. So maybe you just want them to be able to look at the reports, uh, or maybe you don't want them to have build permission to build reports on top of the data sets that you publish, or maybe you want to disallow them from sharing the app to other people, you can remove those permissions as well from here. But we'll just leave it as default for now. So once we're done, I think we're pretty much done here. I'm just going to publish app at the bottom right here. When you click publish, we'll just give it a few seconds and it's done pretty much. So this is the link to your app. Now you can copy that and give it to your users individually, or they can access the app from the apps section here on the left hand side. So, so to access the apps, you will simply just need to go to the apps section here on the left hand side. And if they can't see it here and they have access to it, you can go to get apps, organization apps, and this will give you access to that app that we have just created. So if you click get now, it will load us the reports that we have added into this app. So you'll notice that the color scheme is different and we that's because we customized it before. You will see your reports the same way as you would normally do, except with a few new things. So first you have this navigation pane on the right hand side with our sections. So we created the section summary and instead of seeing pages, which we sort of have disabled in some of them, you can see all of the reports that we have published. So it's not just a report with the pages, it's multiple reports and their pages, which is really, really important if you're deploying multiple reports that are sort of linked together and you want to deploy them all together. So as you noticed here, we have the human resources sample, which allows you to move through those different pages that we have in that report. You can also go to our headcount here, which is another report entirely, but because we've bundled it into an app, you don't need to go back to the workspace and access the report itself. Uh, you'll notice that we've also implemented internal page navigation here. So although there are no pages here on the left-hand side, you still will have the ability to navigate through the different pages that you have in the report. The same way that if this report was just, let's say, a standalone report. The only thing you'll have to bear in mind if you want to use apps as a means to publish and distribute reports, because apps is treated as a separate entity, the changes that you make in the workspace won't reflect into your app until you update the app itself from the workspace. And that allows you to sort of collaborate with the report first before it gets published into an app. So if we just go back to the home page here and go back to our demos workspace, 
you will notice that you will have this button update app and this is what will publish the changes that you've made from the workspace into the app itself. So now you can see the app available in the app section on the left hand side corner. And this will just give you essentially all the apps that you have access to. If you want to see how others have created apps, you can go ahead and click get apps. So here's where you'll be able to install apps that have been created by the community so that you can see the type of apps that could be created using this feature in the Power BI service. We have a couple of tabs here. We have the organizational apps, which what we've seen before is something that's been created by your organization shared to you. We also have access to template apps, which are essentially pre-built reports that allows you to see insights by connecting to your own data with a few clicks. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to bundle up and deploy multiple reports to your users using apps. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.